Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I will perform a shunt mod on my well-known Dell laptop, which I already did some firmware modifications in the past. And we will see how much gain in performance we will achieve with adding some shunt resistors. That are basically the shunt resistors. Um, they are a bit tinier than you would find on regular graphics cards, but I think I can do that nonetheless. Before I start the shunt modding process, I will do some measurements now in terms of performance, in terms of clock speed. And then I will do the shunt mod and then we have some values to compare with. So yeah, let's do, let's fire up 3 Mark and take some bench notes. All right, first of all, I will use the superposition benchmark with the 1080p medium preset. I also fired up, um, HW info. Here we can see some temperatures. I don't know which one will be the VRM, but let's say <clears throat> um, we will see it afterwards. I guess it will be the hottest spot here. And then we have here some power readings that we can see how much the GPU is pulling so that we can see how much it would take or it takes now and how much it takes afterwards. So if it's basically quite a double one more bit less and yeah i would say let's fire it right up and see the results sorry for the sound i forgot to disable it and as you can see we're having around 1700 megahertz with 51 fps already hitting 63 degrees celsius which is okay i guess the fans will start to spin up soon and it will probably bottom out here, or top out here. Alright, as you can see we got a score of 6733 with an average FPS of 50 and max 65. We hit around 68 degrees Celsius. I'm pretty sure that that will increase a lot after the shunt mod. Now we can take some look at the measurements. As we can see obviously the card is max allowed to draw 50 watts around. And I'm pretty sure that this temperature is the VRM, so where the voltage is generated for the GPU. 67 degrees Celsius max, that's okay, I guess. This could be also the VRM, 69. I'm not quite certain. We will see <coughs> the temperatures afterwards. But for now, um, as you can see, the GPU pulls 50 watt max. And if it reports also 50 watts afterwards, we know that the GPU is able to pull out around 100 watts, which would be insane and not that great or at all for the VRMs and the laptop in general. The notebook, I mean. Well, let's let's take it apart, search for the shunts, and then I will solder them on, and then we can see. All right, this is how the laptop looks under the hood. I also take our took out the battery just to be sure I'm not shortening out anything and if you take a closer look at the PCB and here's by the here are by the way GPU and CPU you can see here are the two shunts in the middle of the picture and now I will just place two shunt resistors on top of them and then we should be good to go Alright, so the job is done. I think that that looks quite okay. I mean I was it was really tight in space, so yeah, that's that's good enough. Now I will put back on the cooler, put back in the battery, complete the assembly and hopefully this laptop still works. Alright, everything built together and now Let's see what will happen if I hit the key. All right, uh, we got an image and system seems fine to boot up. And let's see what will happen next. If we can start the benchmark, clock speed, ETC. All right, we got some readings, as you can see here. So graphics card seems to work fine. To make sure 
the notebook is not instantly dying. I will cap out the voltage. Um, in the previous run, we saw that we were nearly able to hit 1700 MHz. If you go into the curve editor, we can see it. this is around 875 millivolts. So if you can reach at this point, let's say 1730, I know the shunt mode worked, so I will cap out the curve here. And then if you see 1740, we know the shunt mode did work. And if not, it's okay, but I just want to be sure that the card is not pulling around 1.1 volts and the VRM is instantly dying. I don't know how safe it is. So I just want to see what will happen. All right, as you can see, we achieved 7,574 points. The core frequency was about um, nearly two, close to two gigahertz, which is really impressive. Um, if you look into HW info, we draw around 40 watts from the graphics card. Um, the max voltage I I said was 0 0.95. It can boost up to 1.1 but i didn't really want to push the card over 80 watts since i don't know the vrm so i really don't want to damage anything and i think 80 watts in a laptop this thick is really okay if you talk about the temperatures we can see a slightly increase here with uh, 73 degrees the rest stayed where it was okay this temperature hit also one degree more so all in all this looks quite good at the moment yeah um that's basically it i would say we gained around yeah 10 15 percent which is kind of impressive i hope you enjoyed the video guys leave down a comment a like and if you want to subscribe and i would say see you in the next one